welcome back. My name is Addie of Who I Loved Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, secondhand, self-expressive, and fun. So today we are going to be going through a huge pile of thrifted clothing that I have thrifted over the last two or three times that I've gone thrifting. I really have not thrifted much recently, but this is a little bit of like a part two to my video from last week where I went thrifting with you guys, but there was no fitting room in that thrift store. And so I wanted to actually try on the pieces that I got so you could get a little bit of a better picture. I might even style these up at some point soon too, because I think that that just like creates the full thought of like what I was thinking of while I was thrifting these and hopefully inspires you also to wear what you love and style it in really fun ways. So I have, I don't even know how many pieces. I haven't counted them yet. I'm looking over here because they're all laying on my bed, but I would guess it's somewhere around 40. So we'll see in the title if I get close to what the actual number is. But these are some pieces that I thrifted for myself. These are some pieces that I thrifted to sell on my whatnot. And then I actually got a couple pieces off of whatnot too. So if you're unfamiliar with whatnot, I've talked about them a couple of times here. I've been selling a ton on there recently because I'm moving some inventory and getting rid of things from my closet and just kind of rethinking my style. But whatnot is a live auction app where you can buy all kinds of goodies and collectibles. But I get a lot of vintage from there and some of my more like free people anthropology those sort of things like recent brands that I love but I don't want to pay full price for or want to get them from like a small business that I can actually support if you haven't created an account or don't know really how this way of shopping works think like eBay but with a touch of live streaming so you get to interact with someone in real time through comments and bidding so you can bid on items that you want to purchase and get really great deals on so many different things and you can also shop with me in the next couple of weeks I have a show coming up I'm sure I'll put the information somewhere on the screen so that you can come join me then so if you're interested click the link below and you will get $15 off of your first order. So go ahead and sign up and then click my little bookmark for my sale in a couple of weeks and I will see you on Whatnot. But back to today's video, I will be showing you a piece that I got from Whatnot and so many other goodies that I thrifted last week and like last month and one more time before that maybe. <laughs> so I don't even know, we just have a bunch of fun stuff to try on. So let's just jump right in and do this thrift haul. Okay, already loving these pieces. This is the first time that I've tried on both of these pieces because they didn't have the fitting room at this thrift store. And I was just kind of like holding stuff to myself, being like, that'll fit, it's adjustable, whatever. And so starting off with tops, I found this amazing little top. It's actually from H&M and it is a size large, so it's just a little bit big, but it has this tie in the back which I thought was just really easy to be super adjustable, especially while I'm still postpartum and trying to figure out body shape and stuff. It's really great to have these adjustable pieces. So you can see it's a little big because of the X across the back, but I might fix that. I might also sell it. I'll probably layer it too. So I just loved the little puff sleeve on this. I am always a fan of a square neck. And then something neutral with a pattern, I think is so great for layering. So I could easily see like little orange tank top over the top of this. I also really like it with the utility pants details since this is a little more of like a feminine top. But you can see just this beautiful, Full gingham fabric that also can come untied and be like wrapped just a little bit and maybe do like a little brooch situation right here just to add an extra detail to this look but I just think that these kinds of tops can be worn in so many different ways and this is the shape of top that I reach for a lot once again a white puppy sleeve top because this is half of my personality and how I like to dress but I love this top here's just all of the little details where you can see the embroidery the pockets this is very much like a bed jacket kind of night shirt but I have seen so many people style these in such fun ways and again similar to that other girly top I think that something so girly looks really great with some like utility details leaving it open and just styling it a little harder especially with the hat so cute but just the details on this really got me and it's the softest fabric I think this kind of shirt with like the um, Bermuda kind of link denim shorts that are a little rugged would also be really cute I just love that feminine with the masculine the yoke on the back is really pretty too so so many options love a white puppy shirt especially with details like this 
This is such an easy, comfy sweatshirt, and this is just what I wanna wear all the time. This is like my mom uniform. So this is Urban Outfitters brand originally, and I got this a couple months ago. I've worn it a ton since. So I have tried this on, washed it multiple times, but I just love the fit of this. I like the kind of shorter line here that it hits a little bit below my hip. I just realized that I have a really great skirt that would look super cool with it. That's like a mixed plaid thing. So I am a big fan of mixing these kind of casual pieces with some more, I don't know, dressed up pieces like skirts and dresses, but I've also done this with um, overalls. And I think the zipper is a really fun little touch. And it is like a sweater, almost terry cloth material. And these colors are in my closet a lot too. So it does go with a lot of things, especially my ochre color, I think is so pretty with it. But I also just love it in a casual sort of mode. And I've worn this so many times on a walk. <laughs> this little top makes me so happy. I feel like this will also be my more summer kind of uniform, especially with the little cargo style pants, but the color of it is so much fun and it's not really thin and it actually has a lot of coverage too, which I feel like is pretty rare to find a bra top with some good coverage to it. I do have a few that are more like actual bras, but this actually feels like a top with this higher neck, thicker strap, and it just sits a little bit longer. So of course I thought of all of the styling opportunities of putting this like over button downs or over patterned shirts and maybe even adding a, like a layer to a dress or something. So I do love finding tops like this, but I'm so excited that I found one, not only in this color, but also in the coverage that fits really well. It has just like great elastic comfy on the bottom. So I think that this will probably live more in my closet and not so much in like my comfy clothes. But I did get a pair of shorts that looks so good with this. I'm gonna put the shorts on with it. I completely forgot that the shorts were actually in my car, so I had to run out there in the rain. So if it look a little damp, I don't look too damp, but a little bit, that's why. Um, so I tossed on the little yellow shorts with it and I knew that these weren't the same color, but I kind of like it when those, the sweatpants bra top outfits are two different colors, but in the same color family. So I thought that this was a really cute combo and I've been looking for some comfy shorts too, because this is what I love to wear in the summer and little drawstring on these with the longer line on them are just so cute. I would probably wear them a little bit lower, but since I'm doing like the bra top thing, I like them up higher, but it's pulling them a little weird. So I do love this combo but i also really like it with the denim over the top i just that's how i typically wear these things just to give me a little more coverage and a little more comfort but i do think this as a set is just so dang cute and feels kind of sporty maybe i do like gold chunky jewels with it too and just be a little more cozy like around the house sort of outfit but could still run to the store and look adorable so also my first time trying on these shorts and i am so happy with them and really happy with the combo here too I put my tan pants back on and they're covered in water. So they look a little different, but no big deal. Oh, uh, I also tossed on this little shop coat kind of top. I love this top. I think it's linen. I didn't check the tag, so I need to check it, but I love just the stripes and the shape. It has a little bit of like that 80s feel with the little waistband, but it also feels kind of like a shop coat to me. And I like that the sleeves are a little bit shorter. I think it's very stylized and almost feels like baseball since it's like red and striped, but the buttons are really reflective too. The little collar is really cute. So I could absolutely see this worn like tucked, like a little shirt, but also open like a little jacket because the fabric just goes both ways, which I think is so great for such a versatile piece. We'll just see how it fits in my closet, but I do think that I have a hole that is for this piece. So love it. I am absolutely loving this shirt. Of course I am. I'm getting into some bright colors now, but this is just an H&M piece. And I'm just not realizing I actually found a good bit of H&M things in this haul. And I was questionable about the quality of this one because the quality is not like super great with fast fashion pieces, but getting it secondhand, I like to just try some different things. And I think that this one kind of paid off. There's something about this fabric that doesn't feel like that cheap silky material, it does feel a little bit nicer, but I love the shape of this top. I've been looking for more button downs to wear over things, but I feel like this will be a really good one to also wear underneath things because it does have the little like double button situation up here. So it keeps that collar nice and flat and tight, but I could do a lot of layering over the top of this. But my favorite little part are these high slits on the side. Like how fun to just have a little peeking kind of thing here and then leaving it unbuttoned in the front with that 
flowy fabric. But one of my main reasons I got this is because I have a lot of this color in my closet and I wanted to pair it with my orange flowy pants to do a little bit of a matching set. I feel like matching sets are so easy to just put on and feel great and also feel really dressed. So I think that this will look really great with that, but also like tying it up with this fabric, really cool tons of different options and obviously one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna throw it on with the orange pair of shorts that I got though, because I got some really cute shorts that would look so good for this. Let's try them. Oh, but before we go over to the shorts, I will walk you through these pants real quick so I don't have to put them back on for the third time. But I love the way that these fit. I love the elastic waist on them. I do think they're just like, a hair tight in like the hip area, but that's just because I typically wear my pants really loose through my hips and legs. So these might actually fit me like they're supposed to, but my style is just a little more oversized, but I like that I have something that fits a little more throughout my hip because I am trying to find some pieces that fit a little bit better that way. So these are just really comfy, look really great with t-shirts, button downs. They look great with really anything. I mean, you've seen it so far. There has yet to be a piece that they don't look like super amazing with, but these pants I'm probably gonna wear a ton. Oh, I also love the little, these details right here. They don't have anything that clips to them, but just really cool, makes them a little punky and interesting. We are gonna put the orange shorts on now. This is perfection. This is everything that I absolutely love about clothing in general. I feel like these shorts are the exact shape that I want all of my shorts to be. They're high-waisted, they have a nice longer inseam, but it's not like too super long, but it's also, they're flowy and have a little bit of structure to them and they're elastic waist, but they do have a little waist tie that I actually took around the back and then to the front to give the waist just even more of a little cinch. But my favorite thing and the reason that I got both of these pieces is because they they are so the same color. Like they're just a hair off and even like in the little screen, I can see that they're just slightly off. But in person, the way that this shirt has like that iridescent quality, the iridescent features are more so this color. Like you can kind of see up here right now is like more of this corally orange color. So I love these together and they feel like they were supposed to be together and I will absolutely be styling them together all the time, probably with sweater vests over the top of this too, maybe even a boot. That would be more like end of summer, early fall kind of outfit, but I'm so excited about these and I have a hard time finding shorts because I'm so particular about how I like them to fit and I prefer pants half the time too because I like a little top with big bottoms and so these are a little bit of a bigger short bottom and I am just so happy with them. Next up, graphic tee. This is the shape I want all of my graphic tees to be. I have worn this so many times because it's collegiate, it's comfy, the sleeves aren't too long, but it's oversized in a really good way. And I feel like I have such a hard time finding really good vintage t-shirts or even just t-shirts in general that fit the exact way I want them to. And this is it. This is it. They're usually too small if they fit like the size that I want them to. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's perfect. This is so good. The sleeves are a great length. They don't feel like too short, which I feel like is a little youthful for me, but they also aren't that oversized long, which I do like a lot of times, but I tend to want something shorter if I'm gonna like layer or even put it under a coat so it doesn't like bunch or a blazer, something like that. But I love that this on its own is such a cute little outfit. This feels like you could just toss on like a sneaker or maybe a colorful sandal and it would be a really cute little look. But it just says South Carolina State Track and Field. I'm not a runner, but I love this shirt. So I'll bake it, but it's so comfy too. Love it. Okay. I know that this isn't something like super crazy special, but to me, this is perfection. I'm just extremely happy with these pants. So I just thrifted them last week and I haven't tried them on yet. So this is the first time they're on my body. I can't tell you how perfect these are. These are the perfect like at home chill pant, but also like you could probably go to work in these because they're very cute, like pleated sort of trouser. But best part about this, you can see how flowy that fabric is. Look at the texture. I tried to talk about the texture in that thrift with me too. And I just couldn't explain it because I don't really know what it is. It's like a knit. 
So it's stretchy and really comfy, but it holds that structure really well. And then it also has a really stretchy elastic waist and little pockets, little pleats, but this little like zipper cover is fake. So there's no zipper, there's nothing underneath here. It's just an elastic waist. I love these. I love the length of them. I love how wide the leg is and they totally feel like sweatpants, but don't look like sweatpants. And I love that they could be a substitute for a jean. So if I'm not feeling like wearing jeans, this color is a little bit of that like denim -y blue. So these would look so good with everything. I think they would look good with oversized sweaters, with tucked in tighter things. I have a little white top that also is like a big wrap situation with little spaghetti straps that would look really, really cute. Amazing that you can thrift things that fit so well and fit your style so well when you don't even have a chance to try them on. I had one more top, but I wanted to wear it with like an outfit that it looked cute with so you could see sort of the idea. This suede vest. Look at this gorgeous suede. It is so beautiful and I love the fit of it because it's like maybe one size too big for me, but that's what I think makes it so cool. And it does have a little like um, razor snap kind of thing. So you can snap it to make it look a little smaller, which is what I've done. So I have styled this up in a video from my spring scenario styling as like Western spring birthday sort of outfit. And I just think it is the perfect little kind of Western piece. So you can see it fits a little bit. It's not like super fitted, but this is just a dream of a vest also. And I am leaning into a lot of vests and more like Pinteresty it girl styling while still keeping a lot of what I love. So this feels like a very Pinteresty outfit, but still very much me. Like I'd toss on my little utility boot with this and just be happy as a clam. So this is gonna go over dresses. It's gonna go over pants, skirts, whatever you can think of. Love it. Yet another oversized, comfy utility pant. <laughs> and this is probably what you'll see me styling a good bit, but it's because I am wearing the heck out of these. So I've had these for about a month. I've worn them maybe every other day since in some capacity. And you can tell because there's like a mark here. There's some white something here. There's a little mark on the hiney back here too. So we have worn these to death already, but I am still going to continue to wear them because these are just a great option too. But I love that they're a little bit different from like the blue and the tan ones because they're a little more cropped and the waist is a little bit lower. So I do like to do stuff over these more than like tucked in. But actually my other sweatshirt that I showed you earlier, this little number looks so cute with this because of that like lighter color. And I think I tried this on in the fitting room of that thrift with me video a little different from a more plain kind of pant too but super comfy drawstring elastic utility pockets love everything about these just love them i absolutely love the pattern on this skirt i have shown you guys this pattern a couple times before so if you're seeing it again sorry it's just that beautiful but it's like almost a bandana if the bandana print was like floral in it. So I just think it's beautiful. The colors are gorgeous, but the floral throughout is just beautiful. I mean, it feels very like viney kind of all over the place. There's a little bit of like a country flair to this. Feels 90s, would look so cute with that little suede vest that I tried on a minute ago too, especially with these little brown colors, but I could see stuff over the top of it. And I actually think that you could do like a little strapless dress number and maybe belt it and have a really great option for a little summer dress. Not necessarily with the t-shirt under it, but also it's not horrible, but yeah, tons of options for this skirt. I do think for me, it needs just a little bit of tweaking. So we're gonna show you the other side of the fabric now. So here's the other side of the fabric, very tropical and has like compasses on it. So it has a little bit of like pirate fabric feel, but oh, that's cute too. Like if we tucked it or safety pinned it, I've been loving seeing people style, st style stuff like that. But yeah, I think that that is a really fun other side and you have a lot of versatility to it because this has a little bit more like green in it. So really fun skirt. Yet another gorgeous skirt that I feel like is just multi-seasonal, but I do love this for spring. It's just gorgeous olive green with some yellow and some black and white sort of oversized plaid this feels very um what is it called ace and jig 
yeah, this feels very like an ace and jig fabric to me. So I, of course, love it. And it is very linen-y. It doesn't have a fabric tag. I did check this one before. But it doesn't have a fabric tag, but it is very linen kind of feeling. But still super soft and flowy. It has gorgeous pleats that I definitely need to press. But I am always on the lookout for some great plaid skirts. And I feel like I'm kind of cycling these through my closet. But this one might stay for a while because the colors are just so good. And it has that wrap way so it feels like nice and cinched and I love to do these in a little bit more of a punk fashion with like graphic tees, leather jackets, some chunkier boots and like chunky jewelry but I do also think this would look really good with just like a kind of platform sandal maybe even just like a little white tank top so those are some of my favorite pieces that just stand on their own. I love this and I think it's gonna be so fun to style through spring, summer, and fall. We have moved on to dresses, and of course, I'm starting with an amazing vintage Moomoo because they bring me life. I love them. So cute. I think there are styling needs for it, but I do think that it is really pretty. So what drew me to it was the fabric on here because it has a little bit of a sheen, but this floral is just so bright and colorful and a little more graphic. Like you can kind of see how the flowers are like off kilter every now and then because they're like pieced together, almost pixelated, which I think is a really interesting take on a floral because it makes it look a little more graphic, a little less natural. So this is also the first time that I'm trying on this piece and I knew that this would fit very Moomoo-esque, but I think that it could be styled in a really fun way. I'm just thinking like fitted sweater vest, maybe in lavender over the top of this, would just take it to a really fun, more styled place. Maybe even like a sneaker would go sort of Copenhagen fashion. But I do think that I am going to add elastic to this sleeve just to make it a little bit more of like a puffy sleeve because what I think is making it look a little matronly right now is that it has like that more billowy bat wingy kind of sleeve which I don't think there's any problem with I think just for my style it's not something that I'll pull all the time but it's just really beautiful and I want to find ways to wear it this way first maybe I want to crop it I don't know we'll see it's cute <laughs> this little dress is just Perfect. And I feel like I rarely say that about a short dress. I'm such a midi gal, such a maxi gal, such a volume, not spaghetti strap, but it's funny how like with changing style, I'm finding things that still fit my style, but are like a different shape that I normally go for. I love the little buttons on the front. It feels like just the perfect little cottony dress. I can't remember what brand this is. I think it's Gap. No, it's Old Navy. This is Old Navy. And I can't really tell if the tag is vintage. It looks older but not like super vintage-y. So I just think a little cotton dress has so much opportunity. Like thinking of this with a denim jacket and some boots feels very classic, but also styling this maybe with like something oversized over the top of it to act like a mini skirt or doing this with like a touch of prairie, maybe even like a high neck sheer blouse, something like that would be really fun. And I've seen so many little thrifty gals looking for dresses like this. And I just feel like I found such a perfect one. While we're here, I'll show you just a couple like accessory pieces and fabric that I got too but I got these really cute little cactus socks I am big time leaning into like sandals and socks clogs with socks and so I just want some more patterned ones and these were so cute and then I also got some amazing fabric that I am so excited about. I just got this last week and I, my brain is already just buzzing with all the possibilities, especially for me because I feel like these are just all of my colors. So I'm thinking of doing pants. I'm thinking of doing like a matching set. I also brought this home and Peter, my husband was like, can you make me something out of that? So we might end up having some kind of matching clothes. And then of course I would have to make something for my son at that point. I did also get some baby clothes too. So I'll run you through those. I got these adorable little khaki colored overalls and they are denim. So they're still that like heavier weight material, but they have this cute little oh one on the back and they are gimbery. These are for when he is a little bit older, but I just love little overalls. And if I can ever find different colors and stuff of them, I am absolutely going to get them. I also found a cute little onesie. And I also found another little onesie that is just so cute. It's just a little bubble with the little legs on it. But over to my favorite pieces that I found, I found these little French springy summery onesies that are so dang cute. So it's a brand that 
that basically means chocolate tart because I'm not gonna try to speak French, but <laughs> how adorable are these? I'm pretty sure he's gonna wear one of these on Easter because it's just too good. So those are my favorites. And I looked them up online and they're very expensive. So getting those for like a dollar each, crazy. And then I found a little Levi's denim vest. How cute. How cute is this? It has the little Levi's tag and a pocket on the front. So I cannot wait until he wears this because we're gonna match. We're just gonna match in all of our little vests. So, so excited. Never have I ever found a nightgown like this that feels modern, but vintage and wearable, but also over the top and gorgeous. And I love this piece. I think that this would be so beautiful, just unbuttoned with like jeans and maybe a little white bralette underneath it. So the dress I have underneath it right now is just the white dress I was wearing just a second ago. So you can see same dress, but I just put this sheer piece over the top and I love a sheer piece. So I don't know why I have a little bit of trouble styling these, but how gorgeous is this top? This is my first time putting this on and I am just in love. I think it could easily be belted and worn like a nice little dress out, but I'm gonna have to look up some inspiration just to see how I might style this because I think it would be so good. And it does button down the front too, so it could also be worn open. And I'm just a sucker for a vintage piece like this. How fun is this little vintage number? I mean, so cute. I of course snagged this so fast because it's just I feel like a rare find. I feel like for vintage pieces, this is pretty rare. And so I don't really know how we're gonna style it up. And part of me thinks I might take it up like just a couple inches. So it's a little more of like a shirt dress length that I would wear. But I also love just the authenticity of it being under the knees. So maybe belted, maybe selling it to someone who will wear it more often that way than I will. But I love the big dagger collar, the crazy little sleeve detail. So it is folded down like that, but it also folds up this way and I think it's so cute to add that extra little cuff. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I really wanna find a way to style it because it feels so me in like a different kind of way. It's just really, really cute and I love red and tan. So feels like a little hoedown dress. Another cute little red number. This is also perfection. Again, trying to find those sleep dresses, find those shorter dresses. And I feel like this is just the perfect example of both. I just love how this fits. I did get to try this on in the store. So you guys may have seen it like a month ago, but the color of the red is very like poppy, cherry, tomato kind of red. So it's nice and bold, but I think the shape is really fun where it's a little bit shapeless, but since it's shorter, it does have like something flirty and a little bit flattering about it. I'm not typically a V-neck fan, but something about the way that this neckline and bust is shaped feels different and interesting to me. It does have these little ties that would just tie up into a bow. I just didn't really feel like tying them right now, but I see this dress pairing with like a pattern turtleneck underneath it and maybe doing a little boot. I'm still kind of in chilly weather styling, even though this would also be so good for spring, even just like on its own with a little boot, doing like a sweater vest, maybe a little tank top layered over it, some chunky jewelry. But I also really like this kind of dress with a little ball cap. Very cute, love the opportunity for this. This is our last piece for the day and it feels very fitting that we would end on a dress that is just so perfect, so very me. I just love the color of this. It's that beautiful mustardy yellow that I think is just really great, not only with my complexion, but also with my closet. So this is just so perfect for spring. I could see like a puffy pattern sleeve layered underneath this, or just doing like an easy jacket and little boot, little sandal. It's really lightweight, very linen-y feeling and has these great pockets at the bottom. And the shape is just fun. It's oversized, but not like too big or crazy. So I have already had some fun styling up this piece and will continue to have some fun styling up this outfit. But easy dressing is just what I'm going for these days with my little one at home and also just when I'm out and about. So hats, comfy dresses, any of the pieces that you saw today, I am so excited about. So thank you so much for trying on all of these amazing thrifted items with me. Don't forget to check out Whatnot and click my link below for $15 off of your first order and join me for my future sale. But you are well loved. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.